In this video, we're going to take three separate Word documents and create a single output Word document using a DDP. To begin, let's review the files we'll be using. The first file contains some simple account fields. The second file contains a table that will bring in child records of the account object for contacts. And the third file will contain terms and conditions for the proposal. The first step to merging our documents in a DDP is to upload these files to the Salesforce document folder and then add them to the files section of our DDP detail page. Since we've already done this, we'll begin by defining how the documents will merge together. Since we want the contacts document to come in directly after the preceding account info document with no break, we'll go into the file options for our contacts document, click on more, go into merge type, and select continuous from the drop down menu. As you can see though, there are several other breaks that can be used to append this document to the previous document. A description for each value can be found on our support site in the documentation for merging originals. So now that we've selected continuous, let's go ahead and move on to the next document. For the last document, we're going to choose a page break as opposed to continuous because we want the terms and conditions to be on its own page. So we'll go into file options, go into more, and we'll set the merge type to page. Then we'll click OK and save it. Now that we've set up our files to be merged, we can navigate back to our account record and click Run DDP. We'll select our DDP, which we've titled Merge Files, and we'll run a download. When the download finishes, we are returned one output Word file. We'll open the file and see the first two documents were brought in with a continuous break, and the third document was brought in on a brand new page using a page break. In this video, we're going to take three separate Excel documents and create one output Excel document with three sheets using a DDP. To begin, let's review the files we'll be using. The first document is going to simply merge account information from the account object. The second document is going to merge in contact records which are related to the account object using row replication. And the final document will include terms and conditions. To begin, we'll need to have uploaded our Excel documents to Salesforce and added them in the file section of our DDP detail page. Then we'll select the options button next to each document, click the merge tab, and check off the box next to merge with previous. This only applies to documents that have a file before it, so we'll only mark the checkboxes in the options section of our second and third document. After saving our options, we'll navigate to our account global media here and click run. Then we'll choose our merge files DDP, run a download, and after a short load bar, we'll get an Excel file back containing three sheets. So if we open the Excel document here, we confirm that three sheets bringing in the account information, contacts, and terms and conditions were in fact merged into one Excel document. In this video, we'll go over merging three original PowerPoint files into one PowerPoint presentation using a DDP. To begin, we have three PowerPoint files here all of them containing one slide. We have one document here with a slide containing account info, we have another one with contacts, and we have one with terms and conditions. Since we've already uploaded these files to the Salesforce document folder and added them to the file section of our DDP detail page, we're going to navigate back to our DDP, go into the file options for our second document contacts, go into more, and we'll enable merge with previous. Then we'll also do the same for our third PowerPoint document, Terms and Conditions. Now our DDP is set up to return one PowerPoint file containing the slides from the three separate PowerPoint files. After saving our settings, we'll navigate back to our account and we'll click on Run DDP. Then we'll select our Merge Files DDP and we'll run a download. After a short load bar, we get our merged PowerPoint file. And when we open it, we find our PowerPoint presentation containing all three slides the account info, the contacts, and the terms and conditions. To learn more about merging documents in a DDP, visit our support site for further information.